Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. I hope that you're all doing really well. I first want to wish you all a very, very happy new year. I hope that you guys are going to have an amazing 2017. Today I want to share all my favorite makeup items from 2016. These are pretty much all the makeup items that I use whenever I do my makeup or if I have to travel somewhere or pack my makeup bag. These are the items that I put in there. So these are like my holy grail, tried and tested. I would really recommend these to you guys. And some of them were launched in 2016 and others are kind of more older, classic products that have been around for a while. So I thought I would include them in this video and just make like a holy grail makeup items video for you guys. So I'm going to go in the order that I apply my makeup. So first thing is to moisturize the skin and prep the skin for the foundation. My favorite moisturizer is definitely by Embryolise. I have mentioned this quite a few times on my channel this year. It works really well underneath makeup and I also use this at night. For the nighttime, I just add a few drops of the Sunday Riley Luna Sleeping Night Oil. I mix them together, apply it to my face and it really moisturizes my skin without it feeling heavy or oily. After that I like to apply a little bit of this Benefit Professional Blurring Primer just here on the sides of my nose underneath my eyes right here where I have some enlarged pores and this helps to really smooth that area out and it just makes the foundation look a lot better. I definitely think it's a step worth taking if you really want like a very flawless finish to your makeup and you want it to last a long time. Moving on to foundation, I tried lots of different foundations this year and there are two clear favorites of mine. One of them I used pretty much throughout the entire summer and the other one I'm using right now in the colder months. So these are the two that I would highly, highly recommend and that are definitely holy grail products of mine. The first one is by Estee Lauder. It is the Double Wear Foundation and my shade is in 3W2 Cashew. And the second one is by La Mer. This is in the color Tawny. 41 and it is the soft fluid long wear foundation. Both of these are very long wearing and I find them to be quite lightweight on my skin but the coverage is still, I would say it's like a medium to full coverage on both foundations. I wore this when it was super super hot outside. I would mix it in with a little bit of my moisturizer. I just love the finish. It never let me down and it's just an amazing amazing foundation. I also really appreciate the very yellow undertone of this foundation because my skin is quite yellow undertone and it's not easy to find a foundation that really matches it well and this is perfect. The La Mer foundation is also beautiful. It's more moisturizing than this one, but it's definitely not oily or overly shiny or anything like that. I wear this the entire day and it looks super smooth and flawless. It doesn't, you know, break apart. It just really looks like skin on your face. Like it doesn't look like you're wearing a lot of foundation, which is super important for me. I really don't like my face to look like I'm wearing too, too much makeup. So lightweight products like this are amazing. And the La Mer foundation is also really nice because it has extra skincare benefits in it. La Mer is primarily a skincare brand. So I do feel like that does make a difference to the foundation in both the application and how it actually affects my skin underneath the makeup. The next step is concealer. And concealer is really important for me because I like to just apply a very thin layer of foundation and then I will go in with a concealer to brighten and to correct little imperfections. This probably comes as no surprise. My favorite concealer is definitely the Radiant Creamy Concealer from NARS. And I do experiment with different concealers, but I always go back to this. The coverage is amazing. The finish is beautiful. The colors are beautiful and they just last so long. And my two favorite shades are Ginger, which is this one right here, and Custard, which is a little bit lighter than Ginger. Ginger is the one that I mostly use like underneath my eyes, around my nose, a little bit around my mouth. I will blend that in and then I'll just take a little bit of custard, just like maybe two little dots right here, just to brighten up this area even more. And to blend those in, I always use my Dampened Beauty Blender. I have no idea what I used to do before I started using this. It is seriously such an essential in my makeup routine, and I just could not recommend this enough. I have tried dupes of this, but I find that there is something special about this in like the way that it's so soft and very 
porous. I don't know if that's the right word to describe it, but there is something different about the original Beauty Blender. And then to set the concealer in place, I like to use a loose powder. And I tried two this year that I actually both ended up really liking. In first place is definitely the La Prairie Loose Powder. It comes in two like little containers or one big container and one little container and this is like a travel friendly one and then this is the bigger one but you get both of these like when you purchase the actual powder which I thought was really cool and you do get a lot of product in here this powder is super super finely milled and what I love about this is that it has a really beautiful warm undertone to it which I really appreciate when it comes to my skin tone because if I use something that is too too light it can kind of end up looking gray and then just kind of defeats the purpose of making my skin look bright and even and glowing so I dip my beauty blender into here when I'm done with my concealer and I will set the concealer in place and I also like to set my t-zone with this so I go on my forehead down my nose on my chin and it just really helps to lock in the concealer and the foundation it just sets my makeup for the entire day and it looks beautiful and very natural on the skin the other loose powder that I would recommend you guys look into if you haven't already is the Laura Mercier translucent setting powder this is also really good I think I will go back to using this more in the summertime because it does have a very very matte uh, finish but now during this season like fall winter I prefer to use a powder that is not as drying. I would normally do my brows at this point but I'm gonna just stick to powders and like face products. Next I want to mention my favorite bronzer of the year and it was definitely the Too Faced Chocolate Soleil medium to deep matte bronzer. It looks like this. This is the one that I just kept on going back to over and over and over again. It's a product that just works so well with my skin tone. I really love the formula of this. The powder is super silky and very like soft. It goes on really good on the skin and the color is just beautiful. Plus it literally smells like chocolate. So every single time I open this, you get a nice little, you know, whiff of chocolate. And it works beautiful as a transition color or an eyeshadow by itself. And I also like to use it to contour my nose a little bit and like underneath my jawline. Moving on to blush, there is a clear, clear favorite of the year. And it is the one by Hourglass in the color Diffused Heat. It has this very beautiful like lit from within finish. It has a tiny, tiny amount of, I wouldn't say it's a shimmer, I would say it's a glow. The marble kind of swirl in here with the blush is their ambient uh, lighting powders. I think that's what it's called. And those powders are very, very finely milled and they're meant to brighten up the skin. It's kind of like a highlighter, but not you know, super, super intense. So they mixed the blush and this ambient lighting powder together to make this absolutely beautiful marble blush. I just love the way that this makes my skin look. It just instantly brightens up my face. It gives me a little bit of a color, but it's like a very natural, like it's really cold outside and you kind of get that like tingly, you know, sensation on your skin and it gives you a little bit of color. That's the finish that I feel this gives. So it's very natural, it's very pretty, feminine, and just a beautiful, beautiful product. And to complete the skin, I love a beautiful highlight. I prefer a more natural highlight on my skin, but something that I could still build up if I wanted to. But something with highlighters is I don't like when it looks too glittery or too chunky. I want it to look wet. I want it to look really glossy but not glittery and this highlighter from dior it's actually the same highlighter but from two different collections this is amazing this is the dior skin nude air luminizer and this one right here came out in the spring it was part of their glowing gardens collection so now it's back it's again limited edition but you are able to find it now if you look in stores um, and you're watching this in like the winter time, you should be able to find this highlighter. They have a really beautiful warm undertone, more leaning on like the gold side as opposed to the pink side. And again, what I love is that this looks wet on the skin and very glossy as opposed to glittery. And then the last thing on the topic of powders, this is a powder that I like to keep in my purse 
for touch-ups during the day. It is by MAC. It is the blot powder in medium and you open it up like so and there's a little mirror inside and a little puff that I like to use to blot um, my nose and like on the side of my nose sometimes and between my brows on my forehead. It's a really classic like old school product but it works really well and I love that it's so nice and compact and you have everything you need. You have the puff, the mirror and of course the powder. So this is amazing for keeping in my bag. For my brows I love to use the Anastasia Brow Powder Duo in the color dark brown and I also like to use the little double-ended brush that it comes with. It has a spoolie on one side and a flat angled brush on the other and this flat angled brush is really good it's very thin very condensed and it just it works beautifully with the powder and something I discovered this year for my brows was the give me brow by benefit it's a really great um, tinted brow gel and I really love this because the applicator is so so tiny I have another one from Anastasia uh, Beverly Hills but the applicator is just way too big kind of gets on my skin and it's a little bit like too clumsy to use and this is very precise it keeps my brow hairs in place all day and it just it looks really great for my eyes my favorite eyeliner is definitely by Tom Ford this is the eye defining pen this one is really great because the pigment is so intense it's a really really dark rich black and it just like it makes your eyes look so pronounced and it looks beautiful in photos. I think it's very easy to work with. I like the size of it. I like the weight of it. It just makes doing my liner very easy and I love the finish of this. It's also very long wearing. It doesn't like smudge or you know move throughout the day which is also very important for me. So I really really like this. As far as eyeshadows I don't wear them on an everyday basis but with that said if I would have to recommend one eyeshadow palette that I use the most that last year I would definitely say it's the Zoeva Coco Blend eyeshadow palette which looks like this it has some super beautiful colors that are very wearable you can create a ton of looks with this the quality is really good and they are more on the affordable side which is great the last thing for the eyes are the lashes and these um, falsies are incredible these are by Ardell they are available at the drugstore on Amazon they are not very expensive but they look so good, they look super natural, and they are very comfortable to wear. They really do open up your eyes, they make them look very flirty, and they do still look natural. And the fact that they are just from the drugstore and very inexpensive is like such a big bonus because I buy these like in bulk. I have so many of these. I also really like that the lash band is clear. So if you didn't want to wear any eyeliner, you could just pop these on top of your natural lashes and you won't really see them. I don't wear those every single day. It's mostly if I'm filming or if I have a special event to go to. But if I was wearing them, the next step would be to curl my lashes after I apply them. And then I will go in with some mascara. The first is by Benefit. It is their Roller Lash Mascara, which has a really, really great wand. I love that it's so tiny and that I can really get to my bottom lash line very well and also really wiggle this in on my upper lashes and it really creates a lot of volume and length which I love and then the other one that I really like is by Smashbox this is their full exposure mascara and this one is quite the opposite of the benefit ones I'm going to show them together so this is the Benefit wand and then this is the Smashbox one. So you can see it's like huge compared to the Benefit one, but I do still like this. I think it creates very fluffy, more natural looking lashes, but that still have a lot of volume and a lot of length. And then to complete this list, the last category is lips. And I first have to mention the lip liner that I wore pretty much throughout the entire year. This is by Makeup Forever. This is the Aqualip in the shade 1C. 
and this is what it looks like so it's very small now I have bought a few of these this past year and it is what I'm wearing on my lips today it's a beautiful nude brown it has a little bit of pink in there which I think is really beautiful and I love the fact that this stays on the lips for such a long time and the pencil itself is very creamy very luxurious and it doesn't dry my lips out which is amazing I also found another lip liner from Charlotte Tilbury which I also really really love it is called pillow talk and that's what it looks like it's kind of similar to the makeup forever one but this one is a little bit lighter and it has more of a pinky undertone I have been wearing this so often since I got it and I know it's going to be a favorite of mine for many months to come and the third lip liner which I wore a lot is by Mac in the color sore this has more of a mauvey pink to it so they're all kind of similar but not really it just kind of depends what mood I'm in and I really do prefer lip liners in general over lipsticks because I feel like they really last a long time and you can get a really precise application with that said I do have two lipsticks that I really really enjoyed this year the first is by Dior it is their rouge lipstick in the color grayish it's number 169 and it looks like this so as you can see, it's almost finished. It's a really pretty nudie pink color. And it's one of those colors that you can just kind of swipe on, like on the go. You don't need a mirror. You don't need to like be too careful with it. And it just kind of enhances the natural color of your lips. It's really like a my lips but better kind of lipstick. And I find that the quality is really good. And then of course, liquid lipsticks. It was such a huge trend last year. And I did try quite a fair amount of different ones but I just never really got on board with the formula because I found that they were really really drying on my lips but there was one that I really really loved and that I would really recommend it is the pure velour lips from Zoeva and this is their take on a liquid lipstick but it's not a drying lipstick and it's not going to set to completely like where you could you know kiss a white paper and you wouldn't see a transfer there's still a little bit of moisture but I would take that any day over lips that are super dry and uncomfortable feeling so I really don't mind that and this color is gorgeous this is in faint of heart and it's a beautiful pinky mauve color and it works beautiful for this time of year I'm pretty sure I'm also going to be wearing this in the summertime that completes my collection of my most favorite makeup products from 2016 the items that are my holy grail that I would pack with me and take with me if I'm going on a trip or on vacation or anything like that those are the products that I love. So I hope that you guys enjoyed and maybe found some helpful recommendations. And I want to say a huge thank you for all the love, for all the support from last year. You guys are so amazing. I love you all so, so much. And you are such a big part of my world and of my life. Even though I don't know you personally, your love just really touches me and i really hope that you guys find inspiration through these videos and that you feel happy when you watch my videos and motivated and inspired and i just love you guys i want to say thank you for everything for all your love all your support i love you guys so so much you can always find me on my social media i am on instagram and snapchat and both of those are at annie jaffrey i hope that you're all having a really nice day thanks again so much for watching and i will see you guys soon bye guys